If you know, you know. So it's like not my birthday today, right? But it's close enough that my wife told me I could pick whatever I want to get myself for my birthday. And I'm on my way to go pick it up from the store right now. So just wait, you guys are gonna love it too. So I've been talking about vlogging, starting to like just make videos again of the stuff that's going on in my life for quite a while. I know that like most of my Twitter friends are saying like, well just share your life, whatever you do. But most of my free time is spent sitting on a couch either watching movies or playing video games. So I figured today, I got a little bit of time to myself, nothing else going on, got to run to the store, pick up my new birthday present. Why not just turn the camera on and do something, right? So here I am, I pushed record. <laughs> Step one, get footage. <laughs> we'll see how it goes from here. Okay, so I ended up picking up more than just my present here. But isn't that the way it is at Target? You go to get one thing and you end up with $200 and a full car of stuff. I'm sure you guys can relate. It's not exactly a secret that Jimmy John sells day old bread. Look at this thing. But what you may not know is that day old bread cost me a grand total of 45 cents. And what the real secret with that bread is, is it makes some of the best homemade garlic bread, right? Homemade. Take that bread, slice it up, put your garlic butter on there, toast that in the oven. Perfection. Seriously, day old Jimmy John's bread. You can use it for so many things. You're making French onion soup and you just need a bread topper, French toast, anything like that that you're going to cook the bread after the fact. It's perfect for that, for 45 cents, right? You gotta shop smarter, not harder. This is the Lego Star Wars Boba Fett Starship Microfighter. It's only about $10, comes with 85 pieces, which includes the actual Boba Fett character, and a small version of his starship, small enough that he can fit inside and it won't take up a ton of space on like a desk or something. And those minifigures is really what I collect when it comes to Legos now. I do have a ton of the old starships and different sets from before, but they just take up so much space, I don't have anywhere to put them. But the minifigures, I can keep a whole collection just in a drawer somewhere or on a very small shelf. It's not like I ever picked them up and actually play with them like action figures, but it's kind of cool to be able to collect them and just keep them as that collectibles, not necessarily toys in the traditional sense of the word. But I'm gonna try to put this one together with my daughter when she gets home and we'll see kind of how easy it is to build and kind of what I think of the overall set once I put it together. But first, let me show you my other big birthday present. This, the Xbox Elite Series 2 Core Edition controller. Now the big difference between the Core Edition and the regular Series 2 Elite is that the core one doesn't come with some of the extra pieces for customization like the paddles that go on the back, some of the different joysticks and the D-pad that you can swap out for either this round one or the other one. The core version just comes with the controller itself and pretty much what you see on there right now. I'm really excited to see how the joysticks work on this. There's different tensions you can put on the joysticks and you can kind of change the settings on the actual triggers and the bumpers for this as well as just having the silicone grips on the handles so that when you're playing for a long time, your hands start to get sweaty. You don't start to lose that, that friction, that grip on it. So I'm really, really pumped for this one. But now that I've opened those, it's just about time. It's just about time to uh, go pick up my daughter from school and then we can come back and play with the toys later. <laughs> Transition. See, it turns red and now we're recording. Hello. <laughs> So this whole vlog, I realized that I just had this thing recording on zone focus, not face track. So swap that, see if this is any better. Look at her. Look at her. What's up? <laughs> oh, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to go take a couple more pictures and it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit and super, super windy. I take the risk for the fact of photos. She takes the risk because she brought a jacket where I've just got a little hoodie sweater. So <laughs> this is me, this is me trying to survive the freezing cold temperatures. And look at her, she's got fur. The wild Yupa 
braves the winter through the snow, through the ice, on a journey of self-discovery. You got it. You got it. I got it. We got it. <laughs> You're not putting me down. Haha, <coughs> <laughs> balance, balance, balance. Don't fall. <laughs> don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. You got it. Don't fall. You got it. I'm going to fall and break my neck. That's pretty. I'm rolling. Like, that one's going in. Jump over. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the gram. I, I can't do it for the gram. I'm terrified. It's car coming. Okay? Let's go. I don't think they mean handicap parking right there. Too bad for them. That's not handicap parking. Too bad for them. Although there is a hundred dollar fine for standing on that log. You guys want to hear something sweet? This is where I got married. This was our wedding ceremony spot. Right here, in this little gazebo. We've done all we could do. The cold is getting to us. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. So was that fun? Yeah. Was that, did your idea turn out as good as you thought it would? I don't know, probably. <laughs> well, you haven't really had a chance to look at the pictures yet. Your hands are dirty. Red. Blue. Red. Red? Red. I don't think red's good. Are you calling Is red after blue in this freezing cold rainbow? I don't know. Oh my god, I can't oh, move my man. I can't move my hands. Let's get this car started. So I told myself no excuses. We're gonna make videos. We're gonna get out of the house and do stuff. And little did I know that that meant freezing <laughs> our hands. <laughs> I think it's time to crank this heater and get home. What do you think? Crank it up all the way. Yeah! <laughs> Put it in my hand! spaghetti yeah and I don't want to anger the Italians so I'm not gonna break it beautiful jarred pasta sauce slaved over the Walmart app to get this <laughs> Transition. All right, we are gonna go ahead and open up this controller now. It's like way later in the day than when I showed you guys this, this thing the first time, but. Ooh, look at that. Good solid construction box on the thing. But this is what we all came for. And I hear that you can like change that to a traditional D-pad style. They have like a replaceable buttons you could buy for that. Ooh, it's magnetic. Whoa, look at that. Fancy. And these two, magnetically attached. That's kind of cool, man. It's got a built-in battery. Instead of having a replaceable battery, it's just completely integrated into the controller itself. So it's USB charging, that's good. Nice silicone grips there. Pretty grippy, actually. There's a lot of friction on these things. And it does have the spots on the back here, so you can add the paddles in. I'm not really concerned about the paddles, but I do like the adjustment that they've got, the little toggle switches down here for the actual triggers. So you have both your left and right triggers. Nice little grip. I don't know if you can see that very well, but each of the triggers has an actual, like, 
little bit of grip. The same kind of texture is on the sides here. It's on the triggers itself. Not the bumpers, but just the triggers. The way that the texture feels on the triggers, it's very slightly different from this controller that I have here. This grip texture is just a little bit different, and I feel like... I feel like I definitely like the Elite Series controller grip just a, a little bit better. So let me see what I can find out for the actual customization, get this sync to the console and kind of see how that goes. Hopefully I don't need to charge it before I use it. I guess we'll find out. So it's the next day now and I did get a chance to try out the new controller and put together the new Lego set. So the new Boba Fett Micro Fighter Micro Fighter? Micro... Yeah, Boba Fett's Starship Micro Fighter. It's never been my favorite Starship. I feel like this upwards and forwards and frontwards is kind of an awkward design, but the Mandalorians are some of my favorite characters from the Star Wars universe. The Boba Fett character, this is the guy from after he gets out of the Sarlacc, so it's from the new show. And I do have other Mandalorian characters, so he's gonna fit in really nicely with my collection. Definitely, I think, worth it for 10 bucks. All the different pieces you get if you were gonna disassemble this and build something else, pretty cool. And the character itself, this is a different time frame than the other Boba Fett characters I have, so it's kinda cool to have him too. And on the shoulder pad here, you can see there's the same logo that was on the front of that car in the parking lot. When it comes to the Xbox controller, there's things I like. I definitely found that I liked adding tension to the left joystick, thumbstick, because when I'm driving in my racing game, I could feel more kind of a pull of the car in either direction. Um, one thing that I did notice that I didn't really love, I never considered myself to have big hands, but even my hands are big enough that my fingertips are hitting some of the spots for the paddles. There's little kind of buttons there, like release buttons and the, the throw control for the, the triggers, those little switches that they have down here, I was actually hitting that with my fingertips. And sometimes it was, it was kind of like digging into my fingertips. Really don't love that. So I had to kind of adjust my grip from more like this and I had to kind of rotate out a little bit more, which holding the controller lower definitely helps versus like if you're playing like this, your fingertips are kind of right up in there. Other than that, still love the white color, especially lit up. It's easier to find at night than trying to dig for a black controller if it got buried in blankets or something like that. I definitely think that $116 is, what was it, $115.99? That's a pretty good deal for a controller like this. I would definitely say that if you don't have extra money lying around, maybe skip it. But if you're looking for something to give yourself a treat, you know, like a birthday or Christmas coming up, the core edition of the Series 2 Elite controllers, I, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. It's a pretty cool controller. And I guess that's kind of it for this first vlog here. I think I've done a decent job getting enough footage. I'm thinking in the next video, I might go into like the setup that I'm using to film these right now. And then maybe I'll test out like using my phone with no external microphone or anything else. Just pick up the phone and record some stuff. All right, see you guys next time.